A new Reuters poll this morning shows Trump is still far ahead in the Republican race. He leads Jeb Bush by 12 points. Marco Rubio, Mike Huckabee, and Ben Carson are tied for third. Carson is gaining ground after a strong performance in Thursday's debate. Dr. Ben Carson is with us now from Boynton Beach, Florida. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to have you here or there. Uh, <laughs> how, do you explain, nice uh, you. how do you explain your performance, especially in social media uh, on this debate? Well, we've had a, a very active uh, social media uh, campaign already, which is really the only reason that, w that we're in the campaign. Uh, there have been so many ordinary people who've gotten involved, who've donated, because I refuse to go after billionaires and special interest groups. The only people I want to be beholden to are the American people. And uh, that word is getting around by word of mouth. People are talking to people in their spheres of influence. And I think it's terrific. I think that's the way it was supposed to be. Dr. Carson, I want to give you the opportunity to respond to Hillary Clinton yesterday, who leveled an attack against the Republicans in the field. She said, quote, what Donald Trump is saying about Megyn Kelly is outrageous, and what the rest of the Republicans are also saying about women is also outrageous. She's trying to tie you to Trump's comments. Do you want to separate yourself? Well, all I can say is, you know, it was a woman, my mother, who was responsible for my success. And I had the most wonderful wife. And my medical career, you know, I had terrific uh, female physician assistants and, uh, and, and administrative people who I could not have succeeded without. So you saw how what she's she, going to tie me to that, I don't know. <laughs> you, saw, you saw what Hillary Clinton said yesterday, essentially trying to draw what Donald Trump said about Megyn Kelly to then make it a debate about abortion in this country. And she specifically attacked Marco Rubio. So let me ask you, do you, would you ban abortions in the case of rape, incest, and life of mother? Well, you know, I spent my entire career as a pediatric neurosurgeon, frequently staying up all night, fighting, struggling to save the lives of little babies, even operating on babies inside the womb. So I don't think it should be hard for anybody to understand that I am totally opposed to killing babies. So just to be clear, because I looked at your website, and it wasn't clear on, on your website, you are opposed to all abortions, even in the case of life of mother. Uh, I think when it comes to the case of the life of the mother, you have to, to look at the individual situation, recognize that that's largely a spurious argument, because we've advanced so much in medicine these days that that situation rarely occurs. Doctor, you are a celebrated, you have a celebrated medical career, Presidential Medal of Freedom recipient, but you have never held public office. Do you feel as though that's going to be your biggest hurdle? Uh, I don't think that's a particular problem. You know, the political class has uh, weaved an imaginary tale that they're the only ones who can solve our problems. But the fact of the matter is, if you take the collective uh, political experience of everyone in Congress, which is just under 9,000 years, you'll see that it really has not solved our problems. And what we really need are problem solvers, people with a history of solving complex problems, people who know how to utilize other individuals working with them to solve complex problems, because nobody knows everything. But wisdom is much more important than political experience. And, and how do you define wisdom? Uh, the ability to take the information and use it in an effective way. You know, the book of Proverbs says, in a multitude of counselors is safety. But you see how Washington works. Do you really think that that's going <laughs> to, you know, wisdom, bringing that, to thinking that everyone's going to act civil? I mean, that Washington has been this way for so long. What's going to um, make that change now? I think, I think it's definitely uh, worthy of trying to simply throw one's hands up and say, forget about it is not the solution. This is America. We are Americans. We have the can-do attitude. All right, Dr. Ben Carson, good to see you. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you.